Welcome back to Atlanta Tech Edge. I'm Wes Moss. This is the kind of stuff you only see in the movies. Emtasis specializes in biometric technology, whatever that is, we'll find out in a second. They make solutions that allow computers to identify people through fingerprints and even through your eye. Tag recently named Emtasis, one of the top 10 innovative companies in Georgia. Founder, CEO, and CTO, Mizan Rahman, joins us now with more. Mizan, thanks for being here. Uh, let's get an example real quickly of Thank some of the things that you actually do. So biometrics, tell us an example of a real life product that you guys are using. So biometric, of course, you know, is human recognition technology. So one of the product that we very seriously matters to every, everyone now, especially, um, say, you know, you go to the hospital and they, they take your name and put you into their system. But next time if somebody messes up your name, you could appear twice in the hospital information system, which could lead into a lot of different complications. Say for instance, if they misses you, your uh, previous record, say you have some allergy or some kind of uh, negative side effect they need to worry about, they wouldn't know next time around when you go there. So with the biometric, we work with this hospital, we provide technologies to this hospital, where if you are enrolled once in the system, you can never be duplicated. Nobody can ever alter your identities in the hospital information system. Well, what are then the metric? Is it, is it truly fingerprints? Is it retinal scans? I mean, what it, what, how do you identify people? Well, so m 2 is that's the uniqueness, our innovation. Um, we have the platform that we look at entire human qualities, you know, different biometric qualities. It could be, at some cases, it could be we're looking at your iris, not retina. Retina is in the back, just on the, on the outer layer. Okay. Uh, your face, your fingerprint, uh, vein, uh, you, how you sound like. So every environment is different because how user is interacting with the system, that drives what is needed for a particular technology. So what is the industry that you're mostly within? Is it is it mostly healthcare and medical or is it just all over the, the scale? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a very structured way all over the place. Because, Give you me know, some examples. So, you know, we work with a lot of government projects around the world. Uh, for example, in Turkey, uh, national ID system, they're issuing everyone a smart, uh, a smart chip, a smart card based uh, national ID card. Uh, they just want to make sure nobody is getting two different IDs, faking their identities. So our system is protecting that integrity of the system, uh, checking every applicant and giving them the unique ID and unique card. So that's a government project. Iraq border control in, uh, in Iraqi Iraq. border control. Yes, they okay. are using our system. It's like, it's like the 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 Bourne legacy movies. It's, uh, in it's in some Jason cases, Bourne movies. in, in yeah. some some cases, it is. I mean, a matter of fact, our backyard, DeKalb County uh, Jail, they use our system to make sure they're not releasing a guy. Uh, the wrong inmate. Not wrong inmate. There was, there was just a story about that a couple months ago. The wrong inmate got out of a jail. Was not one of your jails. <laughs> That's right. So we have hundreds of jails in the U.S. using that technology, and at the same time, this technology used by. Uh, just a simple one is uh, people use it in schools. The kids are paying their lunches w with their fingerprints. Fingerprints. That's right. So, and so you can see we are going from border control, national ID, healthcare to, to, to lunch money. To lunch money. So it's, it is a basically uh, it's a technology, a computer. I mean, where do you use computer? You can use computer everywhere. Same way, biometric human identity you can use for many different uh, purposes. You know, your smartphone has a fingerprint sensor, but so we are company. We provide You're the technology platform. behind that. We are technology behind and a platform that can, you know, basically basically make the digital world way more smarter. So the world around us will know. Like so, when you are here. This room know who you are without you telling the room, hey, this is my idea. So password. I'm not the, there's not a Wes Moss clone or a George Clooney cl clone for you. All right, here's another question I have. So you're in a hundred countries. Countries? Uh, countries, yes. Lots of different languages. What is there skepticism though a little bit with the, 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 the newness and the leading edge-ness of biometrics? Uh, there is, and uh, look, it's always a, a learning curve. It's uh, information and people really understanding it. Um, you well, know, what's the biggest question mark? Well, you know, people just say, oh, can someone take this data and do something with it? Oh, I mean, yeah. look, biometric is not your social security number. It's, it's a binary data. It's, everyone handles it very differently. So not necessarily, you know, you can really do damage with anything like you drink too much water not good for you either i mean there's always a wrong side but you know uh, every 
provider and like us and I know everybody else is very careful how they implement uh, system can be compromised and you know and by the, the data how you serve the data yeah data data by the time so we look at you the data in the system doesn't say your name it's just a binary data it's a bits ones and zeros it looks at different pattern those are random random numbers I'm more nervous about someone stealing my debit card number than my uh, my iris scan yeah your debit card number they can take and do something with it immediately Last question, where, where do you go? What's the future of this cut, already cutting edge area of, of tech and medicine combined? Well, uh, one thing we are doing is we, we are going vertical centric, like we have government credentials, we have healthcare. Next biggest thing we see is a financial services. We already have a lot of banks uh, around the world in New York, major uh, bank is using our system for internal of fraud pre prevention, fraud pre prevention, and just security. If yeah, who exactly. gets into the who gets into the sensitive data area? Exactly. Sure. Like say you are approving a loan application, we want to make sure that you did, so they mm -hmm. can come back to it. So we can see that a lot of uh, mobile and uh, banking transactions. Those are the future, and we see the. We want to be the company that drive the. Uh, initiative behind the smart city initiative, smart world initiative, so that you know now it's all computers and devices everywhere. So device and computers can seamlessly knowing you, knowing us, so that things become way more simpler. That's where we want to be. It's exciting, uh, Mizan Raman. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. We look forward to hearing more out of you in the future. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, if you want to find out more information about biometric technology, check out emtasis.com. And coming up, so what does it take for a CEO to turn around a company? What are the challenges that arise? We'll talk to the CEO of Internap, Eric Cooney, when we return.